do what thou wilt should be the whole of the law. Fred or Oz again. Um, wanted to make a video today that's going to be kind of different. On my stock channel, on my other channel, I do this stuff where I, I, I do these videos and I put real talk in big letters and I go off about stuff and and you know say stuff that I would never say here on this channel but I wanted to do some real talk today about the OTO uh, before we get started hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel like the video to help it push out to more people and leave me a comment below tell me what you think all right now also before we get started I wanted to talk a little bit about the patreon uh, because the as as you know the, the money from the Patreon, the money that I make off of the ad revenue from YouTube, the money that I make off of the t-shirts, and all the money that I make off of my other channel that's stock market related, uh, it all goes into a retirement fund, okay? I've, I've created a special account that just that goes into, and I wanted to just give you a little update on it for those of you who would like to track that. Uh, so, the, it's in a, a brokerage called M1 Finance, okay, and I've created a pie that has a bunch of stocks in it, and every time I, I pull out some money from one of these sources that relates to YouTube, I put it in there, and it's growing for my retirement, okay? Uh, it is less than three months old. Only two months worth of deposits have gone into it. Granted, that second month, there was a lot of revenue, in that last deposit that I made, and it will not be that much this next time. But um, it's up about, it's up over 20% as of market close today. So it's doing well. Just wanted to update you on it. It's up to about $800. And, and there's been, like I said, 20% in gains in it since I started it just a couple months ago. And I just want you to be aware that you know, whatever money I make off of all this stuff is not just going to beer and cigarettes, okay? It's going toward my retirement. So if you think that that's something you'd like to support, continue to watch the videos, go back and watch the old videos. If you uh, are interested in helping me build a retirement, consider joining the Patreon or buying a t-shirt or something. It's all down in the the uh, description below okay and if you do click on the t-shirts be sure you click all the way through to the actual site and not just the little window that pops up so you can see all the designs there all right so i wanted to do a little bit of real talk today about the oto all right because i've had some conversations with people and i have some thoughts and I, you know i've talked really well really good about the oto but the oto is not all good okay Anytime you join a group of people, there's going to be these group dynamics of like, you know, gossip and and there's good and bad that goes along with it, okay? And I'm, I'm not going to say that I'm bad talking the OTO, okay? There are some bad things that we're going to talk about, but I want to make clear before I start that everything that I've said in the past still holds true, that especially for new people, Spending a few years at least in the OTO is really good for your development as a thelemite. You get to function in a thelemic society of sorts and learn how that works. You get people to bounce ideas off of and learn new things and uh, do group ritual. It is fantastic, okay, especially for new people, all right? But when once you've been in the OTO for a while... Uh, a lot of people, like some people come in in the Minerval, figure out it's not for them and leave, and some people stick through the Man of Earth degrees, uh, and then some people stick around a lot longer, and those of us who stick around a lot longer, there's a lot of people that fall by the wayside eventually, because it gets to be, uh, it gets to be tedious and tiresome in some ways, okay, and, and these ways include like spending a lot of your time on it, spending money on it, you know, uh, just a, a, a lot of pouring your heart into it and sometimes feeling like you don't always get back what you put in, you know. And the, also over the last, say, two or three years, uh, and, and here and there just in general, uh, leadership of OTO 
doesn't always make the best decisions sometimes, in my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of other people, okay? Sometimes they make bad choices, and they've kind of put their foot in their mouth on some stuff over the last couple of years and made some bad policy decisions and made some other bad decisions, and there's been a lot of negativity out there once again about the OTO over these last couple of years, okay? And, you know, I also seem to find that people, once they start progressing further to, through the degrees and get into the invitational degrees, that a lot more people start to fall off during that time period as well. Now, I have not been, not yet been uh, invited past KEW, so I don't know a lot about the inner workings of the Lover's Triad and stuff like that, but I know that there is drama uh, associated with with the different branches of AA and stuff. At least there was that going on, and I was hearing a lot about it for quite some time. And then there's a lot of issues with uh, not necessarily the LGBT community, but the plus, like the uh, the trans people and non-binary and stuff like that. There's been some, some issues with that because of some what I consider to be bad policy decisions that have been made. Uh, and there's other things, okay? There, there is bad about the OTO. There is things that are bad and sometimes hard to deal with. A lot of times you don't encounter those things until you've been there for a while. But I will say still, even with that, that those first few years and really like uh, allowing you to bounce things off of each other, interact with other Thelemites face-to-face... Uh, group ritual, that type of stuff, really helps you to become a more seasoned Thelemite, even if you don't stick around beyond that, you know, even if you only stick around for a few years, or even if you only stick around for a year or two, I mean, it makes a big difference in helping you, like, develop in the beginning of your Thelemic career, and OTO is not for everyone, you know, it's not something that everyone decides to stick with for 20 years like I have, 25 years, wow, 25 years, and, uh, and in truth, I've, I was less active even before the pandemic for quite some time. You know, there were some things that happened that made me decide to pull back a little bit. Uh, you know, not necessarily things that were bad that were happening locally. Uh, I don't want to get too much into it, but there were some reasons that I pulled away. And one of the things that I've noticed that I mentioned to somebody I was speaking to the other day is that, like... When you spend years like pouring a lot of your time and effort and and spending a lot of time planning things and doing things outside of actual time at the body and uh, just pouring a lot of energy into it and then you take a step back for a while, like you really start to enjoy that, oh wow, like I don't have a bunch of shit to plan and a bunch of shit to, to worry about, you know, and so then it becomes kind of a little bit harder to reconnect. And if you're one of those people, I would encourage you to reconnect. If you're not like if you're only disconnecting or you haven't been active just because it feels good not to be pouring all, so much time and energy into it, like that's not a good reason to stop doing it. You know what I mean? If you have philosophical uh, differences and stuff, maybe you know that's a different story. But don't pull away from it just because you took a break and the pandemic has happened and. Now, all of a sudden, everybody's like, oh, wow, you know, I've got all this free time that I didn't have before. That's not a good reason, all right? If it's your will, keep doing it. Um, if it's not, then, you know, more power to you. But I, I still will maintain that, that taking those first several initiations, having all that group, community, and it, it's, it's irreplaceable for a new Thelemite to have those experiences and to have that learning experience like you can't get that anywhere else you're not going to get that on the internet as much as you try and and you know face-to-face -face interaction real group ritual uh you're not going to replace this stuff with the internet you may replace some of it but it's not the same okay so i still encourage you to at least give it a shot you know i'm not I'm not bad talking the OTO. I'm just saying that there are always problems in a group dynamic. You join a church group. You join a, a freaking chess club. What, whatever it is that you join that you're around a bunch of people, there's going to be things like gossip and, 
and drama and stuff that's going to happen and you just kind of have to keep yourself balanced and keep yourself uh as far away from it as possible and you know participate it participate in it in a minimal way and uh you know the one one piece of advice that i would give don't ever say anything behind somebody's back that you wouldn't say to their face because it's going to eventually get back to them you know what i mean and i'm just like that in everyday life i'll tell you straight up to your face i'm direct honest i won't ever say anything behind somebody's back that i wouldn't say to their face all right that's just who i am but some people are not like that and and you have to realize that you have to have your own personal code and live by that code uh so that's just a little real talk about the oto guys i i don't know if that i'm gonna go back and listen to it before i post it but uh uh, you know, I just wanted to kind of put something real out there, some real talk, you know, about it's great and it's really great for new people, but it's definitely not for everybody and not everybody is able to really stick through for years and years and years, you know what I mean? And and that's okay. You go in and you, that's what OTO is for is to make initiates and minerals and send them out into the world even if you don't stay, you know? So uh, I still encourage you to, to go for it, you know what I mean? I hope that was helpful for you. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, and consider joining the Patreon, picking up a t-shirt, support my retirement. Love is the law. Love under will.